Welcome to Empowered. My name is Ben. My name is Gary. It has been a while, hasn't it? I am (laughs) Philip. And I'm Zane, and this is All Terrain Mobility. Ooh, All Terrain Venomoth? Yeah, yeah. So you can you can move effortlessly on any terrain. Thank nice. you. I know I can. Oh, in this power. Okay, well, maybe I have this power. <laughs> so, maybe. you know, it, when you think about what an all-terrain vehicle can do, you got mud, gravel, cobblestones, other vehicles. Uh, but we're also <laughs> thinking, like, water, you know, the, the jungle. The whole world is your own personal monster truck rally. Magma. Any terrain, yeah. you can you can operate on it. How about, how about air? Is air a terrain? I'm going to say that if you're in some sort of floating island situation, you can jump between them. Okay. So so you do, I guess, terrain. I guess I don't know the, the, the root of a terra, right? Yeah, yeah terrain, it's gotta be terra. Based. So yes. it's got to be something that is actually land. Land ho. So, so basically, you're, What'd you call me? you're in Bubba Watson's hovercraft. Well, I mean, if we're using Michael J. Fox rules, it's not quite a hoverboard situation because you mm, should still be able to. Right walk on well no not water doesn't it's not earth no, and it's, magma it's not. zane following the trend mm-hmm. magma should be a little iffy as well because that's fire and sure. you know the four elements and um yeah you need like big chunks in the middle of the magma you gotta find that chunky magma <laughs> choosy moms choose chunky magma i get it magma. with the flaxseed in it you can't really tell after a bit but <laughs> it would be cool to have this the end no i don't know <laughs> I don't know. In D and D campaigns, difficult terrain is always something that like there are rules for because you want rangers and dru- druids to feel cool that they can ignore it. But like in reality, it's just too much number crunching to make use of. But in real life, I don't know, man. Uh, if you're in civilization, how often are you really dealing with difficult difficult terrain? The roads are paved. You, you've got a cause and effect thing going on there, right? We've tamed the world beca- so that we don't have to deal with difficult terrain. Oh, okay. So it was druid jealousy all along. <laughs> Depending on your definition of druid. That was, that was responsible for the rise of Bezos. Bezos. <laughs> yeah, but you know, Who like, would you consider to be someone who has this? Like, what are we talking about? Like, is there, is there oh, someone like, that like a, looks like, like a, a tank grills. for his legs? What's that? Like Bear grills. <laughs> I, I don't know if it was ever stated in the lore uh, <laughs> that Bear grills had mastery over land and sea or, or yeah, whatever you like, would call it. Like, I gotta, I gotta travel like, do, 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 past do, do, this uh, rocky terrain, but first I'm gonna drink my own piss. <laughs> I was I was wondering if we were going to segue into the only fact about Bear Grylls <laughs> worth knowing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna ask, is this like that they have their own body, or is their body in a shape like it has tank wheels? Is oh, that what we're talking that's about? sick. <laughs> like you can just grow the tank wheels as necessary. So Phil, can I constantly? can I generalize this a bit and say like are you asking does your body have to conform into a mode that would be able to realistically traverse these this terrain or is it more just like you just walk through it and right. it just works like, like it, Hank, it just happens. Hank McCoy the Beast like he seems to just be able to plow through. Yeah. Wouldn't it be Hank the Beast McCoy? Cuz isn't he a wrestler in X-Men? Am I thinking of a different guy? Am I thinking of? <laughs> I think he would be Henry Hank the Beast McCoy. Oh, he get are the how many parentheses or uh, how many yeah, apostrophes are we getting in there? That that yeah, that name sounds like it's got one of those double quotations and single quotations. Mm-hmm. And or like I think the bigger question is rounded are we in square brackets. Fraser McCoy, or are we talking? <laughs> you know. Yeah, we're talking Fraser. Skin, skin Fraser's the only Fraser, option. Like the user of this power can go anywhere and do anything. Fraser, the beast Fraser. I assume his last name is also <laughs> Fraser. Yes. No. The, well, the 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 picture Crane. on the wiki is some sort of monkey king. Okay. Uh, so I don't think he's like growing wheels or anything. I think he's just you know he's just good. He's yeah. just good to go. Well, sure, but like monkeys are already all terrain vehicles, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, does this just give you monkey powers, then? Monkey traversal? <laughs> traversal of the ape? So, uh, I've actually also looked... I'm looking this up now, too. They're listing Beast McCoy, but they're also listing 
Spider-Man and uh, Nightcrawler. So I... those all do very different things to traverse terrains. Like That's the one just kind of plows through on his own steam. Another one is flying through on his webs. And the third one is literally just going in and out of existence, which I would not count as all terrain. Like, that's... that's Cheating. That's explicitly know. not some terrain. <clears throat> well, I mean, yeah. if you have, like, I mean, a parallel Earth works, situation, but... it's still Earth, right? It counts as Earth. Mm-hmm. Should no, be but able what to I'm saying that. is, would you call that... Because, to me, if I had the TARDIS, I wouldn't call it an all-terrain vehicle. <laughs> I'd say it's something that VoIPs in and out of existence in it's different parts. It's a failure parts. of imagination. <laughs> It's well, an all temporal yeah, vehicle. I don't think that really accurately describes, or at least describes it. I don't even know if you can call this TARDIS a vehicle, actually. <laughs> okay, okay. So like, there's, it there's, doesn't go anywhere. There's it's three dangerous. levels of of this of power. Power one, you're a parkour monkey. Power two, yeah, right. you shapeshift into a tank. Power three, yeah. if you encounter terrain, you're suddenly you're on the other side of it. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I guess if, I that, if, that. if the definition of this power is all, all or any of those things, then that actually encompasses a huge pantheon of these heroes. But if we're just talking about the power, all-terrain movement, I think it doesn't really matter how it happens. The point is you can get anywhere and go anywhere. So back to my earlier point with, like, roads and shit... Uh, to make good use of this power, you're going to have to be kind of in a Badlands or mm-hmm. a developing nation or something where, like, the infrastructure hasn't solved this problem. Because otherwise, you're, you, it's going to waste. Right. Right? right. right? right. Yeah. I, I don't think there's a bad situation for teleporting monkey tank. Uh, yeah, but uh, how much how much monkey tank teleportation are you going to get? How much bang for your monkey portation buck are you going to get? <laughs> you know? Can I just also point out that known users and known objects, the known users include <laughs> the three I just mentioned. So in other words, they include Hank McCoy, and then they also say the ATV on Phineas Hank the Tank McCoy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they also list the AT-AT from Star Wars, which also, by the way, I had no idea that there was a, a war amongst pronunciation, but we're not going to get into that. But then they also list Nightcrawler, but they don't list the TARDIS. So... That's an inconsistency. I, I think you need to sign the on for the wiki. Nightcrawler can move. <laughs> I think I need to start editing this wiki. The TARDIS is a rigid body that just happens right, so to... so what about Nightcrawler? Why is he... He's, he's very cool. limber. <laughs> <laughs> he's not That's a rigid fair. body. That's also, I, I'm going to go ahead and just state this for the record. I can't overstate my derision for you guys looking up things about the power. <laughs> I feel like you're... A cardinal sin. <laughs> I feel like you're missing the the the, the je ne sais quoi the, so this the is a no beauty research podcast All of right. the podcast. Yeah, this is a only Phil can research, and he must be burdened with the knowledge like a Cassandra because we will not listen, <laughs> and we will cut him out. 